kind of hard to be mad at these little fellas, isn't it? Aren't they cute? Hey, everybody, Ann here, just finishing up my coffee. I gotta get out and do some stuff. It is supposed to snow here. We're supposed to get quite a bit of snow over the weekend, starting Saturday. So I need to make sure I've got all that wood cut up that I can and split up. Um, I need to bring wood inside the house, water. Um, I gotta finish those chicken yards. Um, I gotta get them covered. Uh, especially the one with the hens, um, the, the mama and Roxy and Patsy all made it through the night just fine. They want out. They want out of that coop so bad. But luckily, there's no been no feather loss so far. The roosters, Rocky Two and uh, Waldo, made it through the night just fine with Fabio. I did let Fabio out alone, and that worked great because the two other roosters were just chilling in the back. And so Fabio was up front. I let him out. Um, the other two roosters have food and water inside the coop, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes tonight. Anyhow, I got to get some stuff done, so I got to get going. Well, I did get some stuff done today, but every time I tried to start filming, there was drama with the puppies. There was drama with the chickens. Fabio kept getting out of the pan, flying out. I think he's looking for his brothers because the other two roosters I left in their pen... So, it was just back and forth from splitting wood and hauling wood to chasing around roosters and chickens. Anyhow, um, so I didn't do much filming. I mean, I didn't do any filming. Honestly, I didn't do any. Um, I'm going to go take a look in the pens and see how everybody's doing. I hope everybody is okay. Well, there's Mama. And she's been pretty chill. I think she's just happy to kind of have her own little safe space. Uh, the other two, there's Patsy right there. She's been quiet, but sometimes they get to pacing. And Miss Roxy, oh, I don't know if you can see her, but she's roosting right back in there. She was having some difficulties adjusting because, um, well, all three of these chickens have been relocated away from their flocks and the the people they're used to being around but mama is beginning to do just fine she's eating she's drinking patsy has kind of chilled out um roxy has not laid an egg for me yet but i don't think she will for oh no maybe a couple weeks but she's back in there they've got their food and water over here so and i did make them some scrambled eggs this morning that was a real treat there's Miss Roxy. I think she'll get used to it. Hopefully. And once I get these yards covered, they're going to be able to get out and run around. But they're going to be in this coop here for at least three days. I gotta tell you, Rocky too and Waldo have been doing just fine. Fabio. I, I should have just left him in here this morning because he seemed more stressed being out in the yard by himself. Knowing that there were two roosters in here. So they've also got their food and water over there and I've opened up that little side one to get him, give him some ventilation but there's been no fighting in the rooster pen at all. Aw, look it. That's Mama and Patsy right next to each other. They don't seem bothered by one another at all. Well looky there. There are five hens in this flock now and I got five eggs. Look at those pretty eggs. I sure do wish the Easter eggers would lay in their nesting boxes so their eggs weren't so dirty. I have already checked their box and they have not laid me any eggs yet. So now in Romeo's flock we've got... That is Splash. That is Raven. They tend to chum around with one another. And then out there we've got... Let's see. We've got Coco. She's over there. We've got Beauty, and we've got Miss Pris. Yeah, there's one missing, Scarlet, and that is because I took her over to Mr. Lucas today because, of course, we agreed to trade, and that hen is doing really super well over there. No fights, no problems at all whatsoever. We've got the flock over here. This is Mr. Lucas. That's his barred rock. That is, okay, that's Mr. Cockadoo, and these are his two beautiful Rhode Island Red Roosters. That 
that lovely one hatched out. I don't know who the mama is, but let's see here. So he's he's the main one right there. So yeah. The spurs on him. Yeah, he's got big ones. Okay, so I think I think this one right there is scarlet. Sorry, I'm panning so quickly. I think that's scarlet because these combs, yes, those are his two originals. That one there and that one there. So she's doing just fine. No fighting. I'm, I mean, of course, there's going to be a little bit of pecking order stuff going on, but... Yeah, but look at these gorgeous roosters. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that barred rock hatched them out. They're gorgeous. Oh, see, looky. Ha <laughs> ha! And Mr. Cockadoo didn't do a single thing about it. No. Oh my well, gosh. Over there, but that's good. That's good that they're not fighting. And see, she's none the worse for wear. She's just fine. That's one you got. Yep. Yep, that's yours that's down on the ground. Uh, this is the new one, and then that's your original Dominic one. Dominic and black again. Yep. So this is going to make for more peace for you. You know, that one I'm white head. I'm worried about the other one because they was, they was killing her. She was so small. Yep. And they get on top of her, and they'll weigh 10, 15 pounds a piece in roosters. Yep. But she's gonna, she's a substantial chicken, so she's gonna be just fine in here with these boys. And eventually, you're wanting to give away the the two other roosters, right? Which one do you want that? With that? Look at look at that underneath that snake. I never seen one. Look at that. Yeah. Hanging down. There. Yes, yes, they do. Some of some have those. Let's see if I can get a picture of it. Oh, he's moving too fast. But I think his mama. May have been a barred rock, cause look at oh, yeah, look at he's... his tail. He's got a little bit of white on there. I but saved, um, I saved him. He came here seven, six, seven years ago. And no, not that years, one. Uh, uh, the main that rooster, one. My main rooster. Yeah. Yeah. And he is. He come up and he come sit down beside him and lay down, lay down like you know, right beside him. And I well, I fed him and then the fox. We got him one morning. Pulled, I went out there and his feathers all over the place. Oh my goodness! And, uh, but he he pulled to it. Well, he's a nice rooster. He you could tell because he doesn't attack the other roosters. He's, he's my little man. <laughs> well, it looks like your new hen is fitting in just fine. Oh, she it, man. She She's not going to have any problems. Look at her. She's up there. She was in there. She went in there and got on that nest and sat on it for a few minutes looking at it. Yep. Uh, uh, see, they're going to go out. There you go. That's a good boy, Mr. Cockadoo. There you go. He shows them who's boss. That's my hen. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, tomorrow's another day, so I'll get those yards shored up and, you know, so the chickens can't fly out or the roosters can't fly out. Hey, Papa. Hello, buddy. <laughs> Anyhow. Um, yeah, so I'll get the yards fixed up, and I'm not going to let the roosters or the chickens out um, until I have those yards fixed, you know, netting over the top or whatever I'm going to put up there. Ugh, I'm going to have to take some old stuff down, put some new stuff up, but it's going to work out, and um, so I'm, hopefully I'll be able to do that tomorrow because Saturday... All hell's supposed to break loose, weather-wise. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.